then, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to what is a very mishmash preview. Now, at time of recording, not much has come out regarding Herbie Kane and whatever. No stats have come out that I can use and nothing about the referee has come out either. So I'm just sort of recording this off, just off the bat, really. And it's going to be quite mishmash. It's going to be quite different because I've sort of crammed a couple of inferences together or whatever. And a lot of it is taken with a pinch of salt about Kane's fitness, about Elder's fitness, etc, etc. So just take everything you hear in this preview with a little pinch of salt. Anyway, let's get cracking then into the preview for the team news where there are doubts over the fitness of Herbie Kane and Callum Elder after both players came off injured in the first half of the Tigers' 2-1 win against Middlesbrough on Thursday. Kane was substituted in the 26th minute against Neil Warnock's side after taking a small knock to his hamstring. Elder was in Elder was brought off in the 40th minute of that tight the kick after taking an elbow to the mouth in what looked only in what looked to only be a momentary concussion. Now another typo of hair, but Elder, he was he was down for a couple of minutes, but then got straight back up and was ready to come back on. But obviously the physios won't let him, so I think he's more. I think he could still feature. Elder looks more likely to feature at the Hawthorns and Liverpool. Learny Kane, if Elder cannot compete in the match, Brandon Fleming will more than likely be the one to fill in for the former Leicester City man. And if Kane can't feature, George Honeyman, John Torrell, and Martin Samuelson will be waiting in. The wings. Josh Bowler could also return to the 20-man team after missing out on Thursday. A new signing, Festus Arter, will not feature this season, having signed from Stockport County. Um. So, now what do I think then? It's unlucky for Kane to have got that injury. It was just hitting form. Um, McGuinness and Scott were shock... Shocking where... Sh where McGuinness and, sh and Scott were shocking against Middlesbrough. Sorry, another typo. Um, we got lucky against Borough, but it wouldn't surprise me if we got a decent result against West Brom after that win. Morale will be high. There's no stats, there's no ref watch, as I've said, nothing about that has come out at time of recording. So straight on then into head-to-head -head battles, and I've picked two of West Brom's three former Hull City players. Camille Grzycki will have to get past former teammate Matthew Pennington, and Jake Livermore will have to contest with Leo De Silva Lopez. Now onto my predicted team then. In goal is George, wrong with a back four of Pennington, Device, Burke and Callum Elder. I reckon Elder will be okay. With Batty, De Silva and Honeyman, the midfield trio. Wilkes on the right, Scott on the left and Tom Eaves takes McGuinness's place up front. The bench is Ingram, Tafazoli, Stewart, Torral, McDonald, Bowler. McGuinness, Lewis Potter and Samuelson too. That is the team in all its glory. Now, this game isn't on Sky, sadly, but it is a top versus bottom clash and it would be interesting to see if we, if the side near the bottom could get a result against the side fighting for automatic promotion and it would be a brilliant game to have on Sky. But I think the next game that City will have on Sky, it might be the Mill, it might, it'll most likely be Millwall, or it might be Wigan and Luton all on Sky, uh, uh, like back to back, if you know what I mean. Um, so you will, so if you want to watch this game, you can do it through iFollow, or you can buy the match pass on Tigers TV for a tenner. Um, anyway, yeah, that still says Josh Bowler there. It should say Malik Wilkes. Can you tell I've mashed this preview together? Anyway, now to my predicted score. I've gone for 3-1 West Brom. I can see us putting a good fight up, but I can see West Brom having just a bit too much for us. Which, if I'm honest, doesn't really surprise me. Anyway, that is the end of the preview. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please do leave a like on it. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow for the match reaction. See you later, everyone. Bye-bye.